Well, hey there, YouTube. Today, I'm going to go over car loan refinancing. <clears throat> and this is just my particular situation. This does not apply to all car, fire, car refinance loans. <clears throat> and the kind of things that you got to consider whether refinancing is actually going to help you out or not. So, about two years ago on my channel, you'll see I made a video that says beware of Greg Garakis. And he's the one who stuck me with this thing to begin with. Um, I went over what he did there, the math and everything, <clears throat> and uh, how he lied to me about, oh, in six months you can refinance this auto loan and get it a lot lower. That was all a complete lie. Um, it's been two years now, and finally, banks will consider giving me a refinance <clears throat> because I've, I've gotten so much of the loan paid down now. The problem that I've had before this whole, this, you know, for this past two years is <clears throat> the, the amount of the loan far outweighed the worth of the vehicle by, you know, about $8,000 or so. So in order for me to refinance, I would have to put down about eight, you know, I think the last one company told me they wanted like $5,300 down payment <clears throat> to refinance. And that just doesn't make any sense to me. So here's what we got going on. Okay. I've been paying, I've made 27 payments on my vehicle. So I got 48 left. I got four years. Okay. All together, I've paid, you know, this much for the car. And the interest I've paid, <clears throat> I've paid this much in interest so far. So, you know, this is all that's left interest to the bank when my, by the time my loan is paid off. And here's the thing, you know, my original loan amount was $26,530.43. So... That amount is never going to change. That is what you borrowed from the bank. Okay. And the reason why, I'm, you know, that seems obvious, but whenever you get these calls from people um, wanting to refinance your auto loan, they tell you about all this money that you can save. You're going to get a lower payment and you're going to save money. You're going to save a bunch of money. Well, that's not true because. The only place that you're going to save money is with this interest to the bank. That original cash amount is never going to change. You're never going to owe less to the bank than what you borrowed. That money is not just going to disappear. The only thing that you can lower is the amount of interest you paid. Now, the only way I could have really saved a decent amount of money is if I could have refinanced this loan within the six months period that Greg Garakis promised me. And that just didn't happen. I could have saved roughly a little over $3,000 if I could have refinanced in a timely manner. But this is what I'm stuck with. And now that the banks will finally allow me to refinance, <clears throat> it's just not worth it. And I'm going to show you why. So like I said, this is what I've paid so far. And what I owe left is, um, is right here. Uh, come on, 18506 That's what I owe left on my loan. Okay, so if I was to get a new loan, this one company told me they'd give me 5.25%, uh, and I was, well, I currently am at 8.256%. Uh, <clears throat> so they said they'd drop it uh, three points for me, give me 5.25%. Okay, so what's that going to do for me? Well, that's going to it's going to lower my payment to 351.35 a month. So, ballpark, you know, roughness, I'm going to save $100 a month in my payment. But, you know, the way they talk to you on the phone, oh, you're going to save this money. No, you're not saving any money. That doesn't that amount doesn't save anything because here's the deal is my my loan was going to be reset 
to 60 months. Okay, over here, I've only got 48 left. I've got four years left. Well, this is going to throw me back into five years now. <clears throat> I'm going to have to pay a whole nother year. Okay, so let's just say that I do this, right? If I just go with this loan right here, with their interest right here, that's what they'd get at 5.25%. And that's what the total price would be for my $18,506 loan. So you take that plus what I've already paid to my financial company. And this is what the end price is going to be. So the difference between this loan and this new loan is I'm going to save $711.73. To me, that is not... A very astounding amount of money it really doesn't make a bit of difference really that little bit of money um, over the span you know you figure what what am I gonna have to give up to get that seven hundred eleven dollars well I'm gonna have to add a whole nother year to my loan and not to mention um, you're gonna get some damage to your credit report now <clears throat> what I what happens there is, you know, I've already, I, I took a hit because whenever you, when, every time that you ask a bank to refinance, okay, just to, for them to give you the figures, okay, they have to do an inquiry on your credit, okay, so that knocks you down three to five points per inquiry, okay, then if I was to take this loan, Okay, that's going to damage my credit another way because every time you close an account, that's a negative impact on your credit. And then every time you open an account, that's another impact on your credit. So I've got a, a mark for the inquiry. I get another mark for the closing of the account because your credit age, uh, the, the older your accounts are, the more points you get on your credit score. Okay. And then the third one is opening a new credit, a new account. Um, that's a that's a that's another mark on your credit because what they do is they like to see your accounts. They don't like to see you having your your credit maxed out. In other words, you know, if I got a loan, it'd be for eighteen thousand five hundred six dollars, and it would show that I'm using one hundred percent of my available credit. I have nothing left. Okay, that they don't like to see that. They like to see you like around thirty percent. You're only utilizing thirty percent of what your available credit is. So, you know, it's gonna it's gonna knock you way down. <clears throat> and for me, that's kind of a big deal because, um, well, in the past year, I've opened two more credit cards. So I used to be in the excellent credit bracket. Now I'm in the in the good credit bracket, which is still okay. I mean, my poor my points my score is seven thirty eight, but I used to be over seven sixty four. So just by opening two credit cards, I mean it knocked me way down like thirty points. Okay, so that's all the things that are going to happen by me refinancing just to save seven hundred eleven dollars. I'm going to have to add a year, a whole nother year of paying on this van, and then I'm going to get some bad marks on my credit. And then I started thinking, well, how can I use this loan to my advantage? What if I refinance and then just continue to pay what I pay every month, four fifty four oh one? So I sat here and I worked out all the math. And <clears throat> when I got to the end, I figured out that... <clears throat> I would still it still would take me three years and nine months to pay off the loan. Okay. So I would save an additional six hundred and fifty-four dollars of interest by paying it off that early, three years and nine months, instead of the five years that the whole loan is gonna be for. Um but together combined, even if I if I took the new loan and I paid it off early by overpaying every month. The only difference would be I would save $1,365.73. 
and I would pay it off three months earlier, or three payments, three months earlier than I would right now at this point in time. This point in time, my car will be paid off in four years. If I was to refinance today, then I would be paid off in three years and nine months. So, to me, um, this savings of $1,365 in three months, I don't think at this point is worth taking the hit to my credit, which is in the good bracket now, which is 738 But if I, these are my, you know, assumptions. I don't know the exact number, but, you know, you figure three to five just for the inquiry. That's one inquiry. I haven't shopped around. I haven't seen if I could get a better deal. Maybe somebody might offer me like a, a three point something APR. I don't know. This is just the one company I've gone with. But every time I, I check with somebody else, that's another three to five points. It knocks me down. And then I have the closing of my my uh, account <clears throat> with my current finance company. You know, I don't know how many hits. I don't know how many points that's going to knock off. You know, I noticed I know that opening two new credit cards knocked me down 30 points. So I'm assuming that it knocks you down 15 points every time you open an account. You know, so I'm assuming by the time I'm all said and done, if I was to shop around a couple more places, get their opinion, their offer, and go ahead and go through with the whole mess, I might be knocked down, you know, 35, maybe 50 points by the time all this is said and done. And then my credit's really going to be, it's, it's going to be pretty much average. And I've worked really hard to have good credit. You know, I mean, I walked into to Honda last year and uh, got a motorcycle with no down payment. I just told them I wanted it. And because my credit was so good, they said, all right, there you go. Sign on the line. I like that. I like being able to walk into a store and if there's something I need, I can just get it without a down payment because my credit is good. <clears throat> so in my situation... I don't think refinancing my loan to save that little bit of money and the huge hit I'm going to get to my credit score, it's just not worth it. But if I could have got the original, you know, we go back to the two years ago with old Greg Garakis, and if his word would have been true and I could have refinanced my loan down to, say, this percent, 5.25%, at only six months, that's where I could actually save some real money. I would have saved over three thousand dollars in interest payments, and you know, there you go. So I would have to say, do your research carefully, because the way it's naturally set up. I mean, you can see <clears throat> I've had this car for two years and you know three months. And the bank has already made plenty of money off of me. This is how much money the bank has made off of me. The way loans are set up, the bank gets their money within the first three years. You know, they're paid. They got their money. Um, so if, if you've already had your loan for a while, the bank's already got their money. Somebody else is going to make money off of you refinancing your loan. You got you to gotta keep that in mind. See, like, right now, this is what I owe to my current finance company. This is what I'd owe to the new finance company. I mean, right now, this number is still bigger, but, you know, six months down the road, that might be bigger. Why would you, why would you pay the bank, a new bank, more money to lower your payment than you would to what you currently owe to your current finance company? So, you need to sit down... That you know, this is. I just googled this. This is it's called a um, hope I say this right amortization calculator. And there's the website right there. It's easy, you just plug in your numbers and it gives you this whole breakdown <clears throat> of the whole entire loan. And you need to research is it really going to be a positive effect? You know, they try to sell you on on thinking that you don't know 
what you're talking, well, you know, what's going on. And I really learned my lesson with with Greg Garakis took advantage of me and my mother and did all his fast talking and got me to sign the papers. You know, originally the price that I agreed to this van was a little over nineteen thousand dollars. <throat> Um, and that's the price that we agreed to, but things got changed around and, you know, there's some shady stuff going on at the dealership. And by the time I signed the papers, it was too late. I signed the papers and that was the final amount. So that was, you know, over $7,000 more than what I agreed to. But by then I, I signed the papers, so I was screwed. Um, so I learned my lesson you know, and, the, and these salesmen, these guys at these refinance companies are just like the car salesmen, man. It's their job. They've got to, that's how they earn their living. They sell people loans. So they're going to tell you what you want to hear. And this guy, you know, I'm not going to name the company that got in contact with me, but, you know, he made me sound, it made it sound like the way he was talking that I was going to save thousands of dollars. You know, I was going to be putting an extra $100 a month in my pocket is what he told me. You're going to put an extra $100 a month in your pocket. Well, the math right here shows that that money is not going in my pocket. It's just being stretched out further. That's, you know, they add the extra year, year to the loan. And, I mean, yeah, I do save a little bit. But does the pros outweigh the cons? Now, if your situation... There's other ways that you can use a auto refinance to your advantage. I mean, if I was really in a pinch and I just couldn't afford this four fifty four oh one a month anymore, well, then it would be a blessing to get a hundred dollars a month knocked out. I'd go ahead and do it, uh, but that's not the case. I can afford it. I just go ahead and get it done. Um, another way, let's say. <clears throat> that you can get a loan for your car that is more than what you owe. Let's say let's say I only owed like $5,000 left on the car and right now the vehicle's worth about 14,000. So if I wanted to, I could refinance for 10,000 and then I could use that other 5 for whatever I needed. Maybe I had a home improvement project or something I needed to do. You know, you could use your vehicle to your advantage like that if you wanted to. But in my case, I still owe more than the vehicle's worth. I owe about 4000 more than it's worth now. So that ain't going to work for me. But I hope I explained some things to you guys to kind of help understand how loans work. I know I really didn't understand it. I had to sit down and learn it all for myself. Um, I learned a valuable lesson, <clears throat> and you should too. If you go into a car dealership and it, it, it's all like a rush situation, like it was with me, it was a rush. Oh, we got to hurry up, and that's what they kept telling me. Oh, the, the this offer is only going to be here today. You know, you got to take it today, or the offer's off the table. And you know, not giving you time to think about it. That's when you just need to tell them. You know what? Have a nice day, and. Just go. There's 10,000 car dealerships everywhere. They, you need to have time to think about it. <clears throat> See, if I, I wish I could have had the figures and I could have brought them home. I could have researched them. I could have plugged them in this tool and got the breakdown and then went back the next day and be like, look, no, man, this ain't going to work for me. First of all, I would have seen the price was not what I agreed to and we would have changed that. You know, so you got to have time. So remember that. Don't let them guys, that's how they get you. They they, they try to rush you. Oh, we got to hurry up and act on this. And that's not the truth at all. There's plenty of time to do the deal if it's a good deal. You know, um, I will give props to Kia of St. Augustine. That's where I got my previous vehicle from. And they were cool about it, man. They were like, hey, man, no rush. Just think about it. Um, I got to take the car home for the night. Um, you know, it gave me plenty of time to think about it. And that was a good deal. The price was what I agreed to with the payments that I agreed and everything. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think, you know, this was, you know, five, six years ago, 
back then, you know, I don't know how they are now, but back then at least they were good, good salesmen. They didn't do any tricks, you know, they're good people. But, um, anyways, I've rambled on long enough. Hope this helps. Um, let me know if there's any questions you have. I'll try my best to help y'all answer them.